far, you have um, reported from Libya last yes. year. Yes. What were your personal challenges and what, what did you find difficult to do there? Um, challenges were, I didn't know Libya before, the first time being in Libya. And even if you search on the internet or search for contact, you didn't have it because um, press and journalists were not allowed to enter Libya and in case they entered Libya it was very um, hard or under the Gaddafi uh, system to be controlled. So um, in the middle of the battles in Libya uh, we went there and um, being on the spot talking to people and interviewing was alone a challenge because it, it was all new. So that was my challenge there. And uh, did you report from Libya from a Western or from an Arab perspective? This was one of the questions of the participants and yes. yeah, I wanted to ask again. What do you think, how do you report when you report? When I report, I report the facts that are happening on the ground. The people, uh, they are the news, they give me the information and I show the way it is. There's, according to my own personal opinion, there is no Arab perspective and there is no Western perspective when I work. I'm a journalist, I'm an independent journalist, I'm a neutral journalist. I try to show the facts, the, um, yeah, the facts, what's happening. That's what I care for. Um, I do think there's a Western and an Arab perspective on things. There may be a bias from both sides. What do you think can we do to overcome maybe um, yeah, or to help people from different backgrounds to understand each other? Um, there is and there will always be an Arab perspective and a Western perspective for what's happening. Because everyone and every county, uh, country have their own benefit from what's going on. So this is a fact we have with, uh, to deal with. Um, what to do to overcome this? Can we overcome this? This is the first question. And then the second thing is um, just do your job. Be a good journalist, be a neutral journalist and let the people decide. Because I think now through the internet and through Web 2.0 and through a lot of information, the public and the viewer is getting very smart and even smarter and they can recognize and they can filter what's right, what's wrong, if they see both perspectives. Thank you. You're welcome.